Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh Bashem Abishai, Bashem Bakarkadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth that be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners that look like the other nations. And to the Akwath that are listening and learning, to you I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm. I'm coming back at you with another lesson in truth. This is 2nd Ezra 6 and 27. For evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth which have so long been without fruit shall be declared. Psalms 85, 11. Truth shall spring out of the earth and righteousness shall look down from heaven. Since Esau is trying to suppress the truth and hide the truth and taint the truth, the Most High has to look down from heaven and make sure that he brings out the evidences and the truth from the earth to expose the lie of those that are in power. All right. Because um, the Lord said there is a covering. A covering cast. All right, Isaiah 25 and 7. And I will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. The Lord said there's a covering. There's a, a uh, let's see like the word coming, H38, 75, Lawat covering envelope a veil all right you put a something that's a veil wrapped tight wrapped tightly all right this is a tightly wrapped veil now you you you, you can they can barely see you know my battery is about to die that's this is not gonna be long anyway so let me let me let this eat might expose this a little bit more century manuscript. Sometimes, you know, it's uh, amazing that, you know, people in the 15th century, were they, uh, you know, aware of color? All the saints, even the virgin, is painted black. You know? Today, even today, we don't, have, we don't find such paintings in churches, in, you know, always, you know, a bright color not black color. So, uh, it has to be studied very, very well, you know, this type of documents. Look, even the evangelist, this is Matthew, you know. That was a video that was put up by the, uh, the elder Uriah from the Chicago camp. And, uh, you know, I've seen this book presented before, but it was not even though this was a few seconds long, the first one that I saw was even shorter than this. But it is the evidence of what we are always telling you, that the so-called Negroes ruled Europe from the fall of Rome all the way up until the Renaissance. Renaissance meaning rebirth, meaning the, the rebirth of, of Esau Edom, all right? Which in the next lesson, we're going to go into this story uh, of this book by uh, Niccolo Machiavelli about the prince, which is Cesare Borgia, all right? And Cesare Borgia, also known as the Duke of Valentino, his, uh, his face was used to become the new face of Christianity, which was pushed around the world. His face probably, his face is without question probably the most popular face in the history of mankind, the most known image, because he became the new image of who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right. Um, as a matter of fact, let's grab a quick scripture. Uh, we're going to go to Maccabees. Is it first Maccabees 3 and 48 a second? Yeah. Um, because this isn't the first time that this was done, but you know, um, because they did this in the ancient time too, in Greece, 
All right, this is uh, 1 Maccabees 3 and 46, and it reads, Wherefore the Israelites assembled themselves together and came to Mashpha over against Jerusalem, for Mashpha was the place where they prayed aforetime. Then they fasted that day and put on sackcloth and cast ashes upon their heads and rent their clothes. All right. Actually, let me start it. Go back to verse 45, Salakia. Now Jerusalem lay void as the wilderness. There was none of her children that went in or out. Why? Because it was full of Edomites and heathens. All right. The sanctuary also was trodden down and aliens kept the stronghold. All right. So you had a lot of Edomites in there and you got to remember the, uh, the forced conversion to, uh, uh, to being Jewish, uh, so to speak, for lack of a better statement, by the, uh, by the Hasmonean dynasty, which was the, the Maccabean, the Levites, they were, they were priests. And they, they forced a bunch of Edomites to, to subject to our laws and, and ways. And basically those became your first sex of, of what people refer to as Jewish people today. All right. So keep that in mind. And aliens kept a stronghold and the heathen had their habitation in that place. And the joy was taken from Jacob and the pipe and the harp ceased. What for the Israelites assembled themselves together and came to Mashpha over against Jerusalem for in Mashpha was a place where they prayed aforetime in Israel. So in the past, then they fasted that day, put on sackcloth and cast ashes upon themselves, uh, upon their heads and rent their clothes. Those were Israelite customs and, and during mourning. And they laid open the book of the law. So when they opened up the Bible, what did they see? wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images, all right? So these heathens had painted over these dark images that were presented like in this video that you saw, all right? And, you know, back going back to Cesare Borgia, Machiavelli, you know, uh, Da Vinci and Leonardo Da Vinci and Michelangelo during that time period, during the Renaissance, it was Michelangelo's job and Leonardo da Vinci's job mainly was to destroy the icons, get rid of all the evidence. So paintings like this were destroyed or they used chemical solutions to make the skin pale and, and draw and paint over them and draw blind streaks and things of that nature. And, and they, they were so sloppy with it that sometimes they, they forgot to do the hands, the feet, the knees, <laughs> you know, some of the legs, one of the legs would still be dark. All right. So, and the statues, that's why they went around knocking the lips and noses off of so many European statues, because they were trying to er erase and hide the evidence of the hidden ones, you know, in Psalms 80, 80, uh, 83, it talks about thy hidden ones. The Israelites have been hidden. Okay. Because you have to remember the, the Lord is from the tribe of, uh, of Judah. All right. Of Yahweh. And. Matter of fact, let's grab a couple of scriptures and then I'm going to go into this book, Nature Knows No Color Line. Okay, uh, so this is uh, Hebrews 7 and 14. And it reads, for it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. So out of the 12 patriarchs, the sons of, of Yasharala, of Israel, of Jacob, all right? The Lord, who the world eagerly calls Jesus, came out of Judah. He came out of the sperm of Judah, out of his loins, all right? Meaning anyone who comes from the tribe of Judah came out of, out of Judah himself, out of that particular son. They came out of his loins. That's of his waters, all right? So let's go to Jeremiah 14. I mean, uh, yeah, 14 and 2. To see what the Jews are described as in the Bible as you're looking at images of prophets of Jews and Levites and Israelites in this in this Bible. OK. Um, yeah, this is uh, Jeremiah 14. And two, and it reads, Judah mourneth and the gates thereof languish. They had no leadership. They are black unto the ground. I mean, they were dark flesh like the dirt, like the ground. And the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. Why are so many of the new 
versions of the Bible that they remove black or just completely rewrite what this scripture said, what it translates to from the Hebrew. And anyone who wants to debate it, well, that would be foolish because when you look up that word black, that word there is a Hebrew word, kadara, which means, or kadar, which means dark skinned as you're looking at. Okay, so uh, let's go into this, uh, this Nature Knows No Color line. Uh, here's the cover of the book. Nature Knows No Color line. I think that's, that's Queen Charlotte, one of the real royals. All right. Um, who married an Edomite and all those tears. And this was written by J.A. Rogers. This is J.A. Rogers. He was born in uh, 1869. I believe he died in the early 1900s. All right. He was a Jake. OK. Um, yeah. And, and the images in this book are from Donald Fairburn's book of Fairburn's book of Crest, 1859. All right. And um, of course, you can only get this book at the Library of Congress, and you have to be a congressman, a House of Representatives, a member of senior government to even pull this book off the shelf. So this means that beyond a shadow of a doubt, they know. So they push this false African thing and this and this uh, uh, this this native thing and this Hispanic thing and this white thing. All those are false social constructs which they created to protect this hidden history, to, to protect their lie. Okay. Um, let me look up a scripture real quick. That just caught my attention. Before I go any further, I don't want to call on that scripture because I'm not 100% sure that it has anything to do with the lesson, but I wrote it down in this book. I wrote that for a reason, and now I'm curious why it's written there. Let me see. Oh, okay. I guess I could read that. This is Psalms 148 and 14. He exalted the horn of his people, praise all his saints, even the children of Israel, a people near unto him, praise ye the Lord. So looking at this image, we know that the saints were Israelites. And so here's a 15th century Bible full of dark brown people or who the world would ignorantly call black. Like it's saying, hidden black history. All right. Which is not so hidden anymore. It's just ignored by the mainstream media because it would. You, you got to remember, the the Edomites' power structure has all been built and based upon the lies that they're that they're the that they're the the Brits and the Scots and the you know the the Irish and they're not that they're the Europeans and they're not. All right, they came in after the fact. After the fact, first time with with. with Alexander, when they moved the dark flesh Etruscans out, pushed them out of the land. And then when Rome fell, the Negroes took, o took over it all and ruled for a thousand years. And this is biblical. So, so, you're, so it's like I always tell you, you're, you're, not, you're not the Vikings. You're not the Brits. You're not the Scots. You're not the Irish. Okay? But um, let's go to... Uh, Page uh, 119 in Nature Knows No Color Line. There's so much information in this particular book. It's insane. I believe it's talking about Othello the Moor, if I'm not mistaken. The Moor of Venice. Oh, no. It's talking about Lucrezia. Okay, this is Lucrezia Borgia, daughter of Pope Alexander the Sixth, with her favorite, uh, uh, Negro favorite. All right, and here she is. Okay, and I think that Cesare killed his brother Rodrigo, and he also murdered her husband. He murdered his brother and his husband. Why? Because Cesare was banging his own sister, and this woman. Well, uh, you know, she couldn't have bought penis from me. She, just saying. <laughs> she couldn't even have bought it. She got nothing. But, um, you know, just to show that point, and she posed with a Negro, proving that presence during that time. Because when you watch these uh, period pieces and time pieces, all you see is Edomites. And if you do see, you know, a Jake, 
they're a slave or a servant or something like that. Um, let's go to pages 103 through 109. And, um, and here you go. Families with ne uh, with names of Negro origin, Upper Holland, Century, Middle Portuguese, and uh, and the other German. So there you go. It's telling you what they were. the The upper one is Holland, the very the big one. Uh, what they say the center, that one in the middle there. Right, that's uh. Portuguese and the other are German. Right? These coats of arms are still around. They try to, and what they do, they repaint them and put uh, uh, pale faces on them. Just like when Shathia went, you know, showed you that castle in, in uh, the Netherlands, you know, and, that they, and they took the video down. When they showed you up close the bricks around the fireplace, the faces that were on there, because that proved that what we're saying is true. Like I said, you are not the Swedes, you're not the Vikings, you're not the Scots. All right? These are Negroes, coats of arms in Germany and Portugal. And this is from a book that was printed. Uh, these images come from Donald Fairburn's book that was in, in 1859. All right? Uh, these coats of arms. More German. Regensburg, Ludwich, Swartz. You know, Swartz is a Jewish a Jewish word. I mean, uh, is what you know in, in in Yiddish. Swartz. You know, they use that term because it, it means black, like Arnold Schwarzenegger, which means basically means black black. Swartz and then Neger is talking about nigger, dark, Negro, Niger. All right. Um, page one hundred six. Aragon, Spain. Uh, arm, the arms of Kamenberg, Austria, St. Peter, uh, foremost saint and founder of the Catholic Church, shown in jet black. Come on, man. There it is. Right? And he's got keys. Because it said what? Key, key, Peter was given what? The keys to the kingdom, man. You can clearly see he's got a crown on his head, and that's a so called Negro, man. Can't get around this stuff. Uh, and these are all throughout Europe. St. Maurice. There's a, a graphic novel about St. Maurice that I'm trying to track down. I'm trying to get it so bad. It's hard to find. Um, but it's uh, it's called The Moor. All right. Uh, the Black Madonna uh, and, and Christ. I mean, look at these, man. And this is all this info is also floating around in color. So you can't deny this stuff, man. You can't deny it. So, you know, I didn't want to make this too long. Just get to the point, and you know, and I wanted to lay them back off what the brother did. So so with that, you know, I hope this was was uplifting to those who was supposed to uplift and that it is condemning and hurtful to those who have lived, uh, you know, embracing the lie that there's something special and they're not. All right. Just know, you you know, you Edomites have inherited the, the lies of your of your wicked forefathers. Call Halal Yahweh Shai Ba Shem Rakakwadash Wa Ababa Ba Shalom.